Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title and the thumbnail, we're going over this red dot here. This is the SIG Romeo, the newest one from the folks at SIG Sauer, the XT Pro. So for folks who don't know anything about the SIG Romeo 4, what is it? So the whole lineup in general is the as made in America as possible version of the SIG micro red dot that fits the Aimpoint micro footprint. Yes, there's a lot to digest there. So uh, basically, like I said, out in Oregon at their facility, they make as much of this as possible in America. And I think they just don't say made in America because I believe the emitters made overseas, but everything else made in America. Um, you guys can dig down the rabbit hole on that. So a lot of folks like that. But the one benefit of that is that the Romeo 4 series has gotten a ton of law enforcement and military contracts. Like the most famous is probably, I believe his name is Christian Craighead over in Africa at the hotel seizure. Uh, when he went in there, it was like one man ran about taking out terrorists and if you look at his rifle what he's using is one of these a sig romeo 4 so they've been widely adopted uh, by law enforcement military units all around the world and this is sort of the culmination of that um, so uh, i say that because they took the user feedback that's been out for a few years now and changed some things up versus the earlier version so there's no solar panel like there used to be and quite frankly you simply don't need it because they've also changed to a triple a battery and this triple a battery in this particular optic is going to give you over a hundred thousand hours of runtime which is like eight years so that is an insane amount of runtime uh, a lot of folks like the triple a batteries because you don't need an optic specific battery and i know the state state department was pushing for that for one of their contracts so i would imagine that's also one of the reasons they went with it. Uh, additionally, since they moved the solar panels, they can have the controls out there on the top, which a lot of people like because it's ambidextrous. You don't have to worry about getting bumped if the rifle is slung on you and things like that. This particular one that you guys are looking at here is relatively new. And of course, you guys have seen me shooting lots of rounds through it. So how could that be? Well, the folks at Shields reached out to me and they said, how can we get an optic in your hands which one would you like and i said i would like one of these to have a sponsored video so shields is the sponsor of this video they did send this optic out for review however that's not really going to change anything i'm going to say about it uh, because as you probably guessed if i requested a backup of one i already have i'm probably a fan of it but one thing that's cool that shields did for all of my viewers is they created a special landing page uh, so if you go to that landing page they have free shipping for my viewers that link will be down below in the video description and we definitely want to thank the folks at shields for sponsoring the video. Many of you who live in the Midwest know all about Shields. When I used to live in Texas, I would go there all the time for my shooting needs and outdoors needs, if you will. But the good news is it's not just for folks who live West, Midwest, etc. Uh, anybody can pick up stuff at Shields because their website is now on and popping, if you will. I believe that's what the kids say. Uh, so again, there would be a link that will get you guys free shipping just site-wide for my viewers. So I definitely appreciate that from the folks at Shields. So with that, Shields rather. So with that, let's get up close and personal and take a look at this red dot. Typically in these types of reviews, I really don't go over what's in the box much, but in this one, I am going to because there's a lot in the box. So let's check it out. Number one, it comes sealed from the factory, again, from the folks at Shields in this particular case. And uh, we have our manual, which is cool and all. We have the optic and the optic will come like this. It comes with this particular mount, which is an absolute co-witness on the AR-15. Um, additionally though, it does come with this spacer, which will give you a lower one-thirds co-witness mount, which is the way I've been shooting it the majority of the time you guys have actually been watching in this video so far. Um, so it comes with those. It also comes with the additional screws that you need for that. I should note the optic itself has helicoil, so built into the body itself. Uh, helicoils, for folks that don't know, are great. They just added strength. It also helps prevent things getting stripped out. It's one of those little extra steps that a lot of people don't go through when making optics, and they definitely do on this one. So there's that. Uh, you get two clear flip-up caps that you can adjust the tension on. There's a little screw portion here on the front of each lens and you can make it loose if you want. You can make them flip up 
if you want. You can do all that. Uh, you can make a flip to the side if that's what you want. Whatever you're into, you can do that. However, it also comes with this cap if you want to switch it out. And I would imagine this is kind of like an old school thing where people used to practice the bend and aiming con concept because a lot of uh, aim points and stuff like that still come with these to this day. I'm guessing that's why. Uh, additionally, we also have our anti-reflective device here, which you can screw in there if you're worried about giving off uh, an electronic signature forward, particularly with night shooting, if you're in that type of environment. It comes with our tool, so that way you can use it to both tighten the mount itself, as well as adjust the optic, uh, windage, and elevation. It comes with the bikini mounts as well. It comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with a little uh, fabric to wipe your lens, your lens cloth, and then it also comes with this tool, which you can drop into pretty much any screwdriver, and it will have the torques that is appropriate for the screws that come with the optic. So there is a lot in this optic. Of course, it also comes with a lithium AAA battery as well, which is what you're going to want to use with these. I do not recommend using traditional batteries in any optics for that matter, but particularly one that like this that is pretty expensive. So there is that. Um, one thing I know folks are always going to want to compare is going to be to aim point, right? Because this is kind of a higher end optic and a lot of people think that aim point belongs in that space and I would tend to agree with that. Price point wise, the one that's probably closest to this, this one is going to be your Duty RES. Of course, we have a full review of that uh, if you guys want to check it out, pros and cons of each. But one thing that's nice, like we talked about, is it uses this, the same screw pattern on there. So uh, that is sort of universal and gives you a lot of options for different mounts that you might want to use. Uh, starting back here at the rear, one thing we'll notice is that if you're looking through there, SIG uses their dark DARC uh, coatings on there. And one thing that it does very, very well is it gives you great um, vision when you're looking through it at night vision. So with night vision, there's a couple things you're going to want to look at from an end user's perspective is you want to see how crisp and clear the reticle is, which is good. But you also want to be able to see through the optic and see what's around the thing that your reticle is on. Obviously, that's kind of important if you want to take a shot at it, right? Um, so their dark uh, technology, their coatings do a great job at that. Honestly, it's one of the better um, night vision red dots on the market. It's very close in terms of light transmission for my, for my eye anyway with the Aimpoint T2. It's also very close with the aim point, excuse me, the EOTech EXPS 3.0, which has kind of been my go-to. If you guys watch the channel, um, you guys know that. Now, the EOTech has some pros and cons over this for night vision shooting in particular, but in terms of just looking through it, man, it's good. It's one of the better ones I've used to date, and it definitely is uh, at least as good or better than a lot of red dots that are, you know, $900 and up. So uh, that definitely is a good thing. Looking through it, you will see some bluish tint but very little, and of course that's gonna vary depending on lighting conditions that you're actually shooting in. So up here, you'll see our elevation knob and our windage knob are marked. I like the fact that it is marked to where the shooter can see it without moving their head for the uh, elevation, but unfortunately it's not the case for the windage. If they put that little R there, that would make me happy but I get it, they don't want to. So <laughs> there is that. The cats are shrouded by the body of the optic, so any type of impact that you're gonna get, um, it is shrouded on there, and we do have half MLA clicks. They're very sharp, very tactile, and you know when you're clicking them. Uh, again, some of the sharpest and most tactile of any red dots I've used to date. Um, the one here on the side, as it comes from the factory, of course they are interchangeable, but the one on the side does have the little nub for making your adjustments. You can also use, of course, the tool that we showed you earlier to do so. Uh, this one here is recessed, so that way it's smooth across the top with the exception of the buttons. Uh, so this thing here has four different reticles that it comes with. Right now, I'm sure the camera will not focus, but it has a circle dot reticle on there. Then we also have all of the dots, so the four dots inside the circle, and then we just have the four dots, and then we have just a two MOA dot. Whichever one you prefer, you can cycle through by pressing both the up and the down buttons together to cycle through the different reticle options. Um, also, they have super crisp dots. So uh, up until about two years ago, I didn't have any astigmatism that I could perceive at all, but now these days I do. Uh, getting older is what it is. And and this one is some of the crispest out there to my particular eye. Additionally, one way to kind of check that as an optics reviewer is to add a magnifier to it. And with a magnifier, very, very crisp dots. And that has to do with the way SIG does their emitters. They do it differently than other companies. And it's just done quite well, in my opinion. You can see here on the right side, we do have our AAA battery compartment as we talked about earlier. Additionally, it is dummy corded down with that lanyard and has good knurling on there to be able to pull it out. 
keep in mind that cameras are not great visual representations of what you actually see, but I set my camera to manual to try to get you guys to be able to understand the night vision function here. So again, the button there is on top and I'm just gonna press it and let you guys see what it looks like. So when you press it, it goes into one of the night vision settings and stays there. However, when you actually come back and press it, it returns to the highest setting, no matter what. There's no way to sort of override that. So just know that going forward, if you're in a dynamic environment where you're using the night vision and then kind of going back to a lit environment, you're gonna come on with max brightness. I understand why they did that, but that is one of the things to compare and contrast versus like the EOTech EXPS-C3 that has a memory mode. This does not, and there's pros and cons to it for sure, but just know that that is how it works. And then while we're talking about it, while we're here, might as well work through some of the reticles just to show you guys how it looks on this particular camera, although we've probably already rolled some in. We're just pressing and holding, and there you go. There you have your dots. And then, again, your two dot, and then we should go to all the dots next. Yep, there you go. And again, guys, this camera, I focused it as best as possible, but it's not good. Trust me, in real life, it is much more crisp than what you're seeing here. I realize there might be a little bit of wind noise, but we're trying to get this video knocked out before the storm that is rolling in comes in. So some things to talk about that we didn't mention so far is just durability, right? So these things have been through insane durability tests, the previous models anyway, and this particular one that we have right here, you guys can see it should be rolling in photos, but there's all kinds of scuffs and dings. We've done plenty of drop testing, uh, dropped it on from shoulder height with a 10.5 inch uh, stag rifle. Should have the footage somewhere, hopefully. Uh, we dropped it onto shootsteel.com plates, which is how we got all nicked up back here three times in a row and it was perfectly fine did not lose zero so that speaks to the robustness of this mount now speaking of that with the lower one-third co-witness mount on there this thing with the battery and everything you see right here comes in right at eight ounces so nice and lightweight of course if you wanted to make it even lighter you could add a lighter mount to it i think sig went with the large knob and the robust thick uh, aluminum on the mount just to make it durable and again, if you guys want to you make it lighter, there's plenty of other mounts out there to do that for you lightweight rifle guys. Uh, cost, let's talk about that. I'm not sure offhand what the actual MSRP is. That wind is kicking. I'm not sure what the MSRP is, but right now you can find these over at Shields for $579. So compared to a lot of like budget red dots, it's very expensive. Compared to expensive red dots, it's very cheap, right? So like the one we talked about from Aimpoint, for example, that is close to this is the Duty RDS. And the Duty RDS in terms of performance just simply isn't quite as good as this one at the end of the day. The Duty RDS is very good, don't get me wrong. It's a great optic, um, but particularly like you're talking about like light transmission when you look through it, particularly under night vision, uh, this one is absolutely better. This one, of course, has the multi reticle options, but that one doesn't have. And in my opinion, it's just this is a superior optic in every way that I can think of. Uh, now, many of you may have just been like, what? Aimpoint is the king. And I would say that they still are. Um, largely speaking, uh, they, they have a proven track record and you can't rush track record. That said, for the Romeo 4 in particular series of red dots from SIG, they have a pretty good track record at this point as well. Uh, they've, like I said, they've been used all over the world by units that don't give a crap about their gear and just beat it up. And again, they have glowing reports all across the internet of folks using them. And you're just gonna have to add me to that at this point. It's been a very, very good optic. Like I said, this is my second one. I will probably be getting more. They actually make them in FDE as well. We definitely need that for our 50 shades builds. Um, but yeah, it's an excellent optic. I think if you need the capabilities and the durability that this optic offers, then I would definitely recommend it. If you would be fine with a, you know, a budget uh, $200 or less red dot and you don't use your gear really hard and you don't shoot through night vision and you don't need all the extra bells and whistles that this one has and you don't care if it's made in America, then I would go with one of those. It really comes down to what you want, but for duty use, hard use, home defense, things like that. This is definitely one I like. That storm is coming. Um, but with that, guys, we will end the video because I'm sure the rain is coming. If you have any questions about the optic, you can always post those down below in the comment section. Uh, if you guys aren't following me across my social media, I definitely recommend you do so. Uh, when this thing's on sale, it will be posted there first before it goes anywhere. And then, of course, it will go out in my daily deals email as well, which you can sign up for at the website here on your screen. Uh, it has six to eight of the best deals around the internet that we find if it's in the email on that particular day. It's the cheapest I know of, so that way it saves you guys some time and hopefully saves you some money as well. Uh, additionally, if you guys like this video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also sign up for my email list. This is a different list. 
uh, monthly email. It goes out every month and it has all of the videos since the previous month's email. So that way you're not censored from my eyes by a big tech algorithm. I think that's it. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.